Well, hello, Andy Bassist, coming at you once again. And as you can see, I have a new bass. Um, uh, I didn't really shout about it when I picked it up. I got a very, very cheap Squire Jazz. Um, I believe it was a classic vibe, 70s, I think. I really, I really like the um, the bash on it. And I decided to do some mods and make it into a really cool, interesting piece that I don't have any other guitars like it. So, what I did, I should admit that a good YouTuber would have played this uh, and done a little bit of videoing prior to ripping it apart. Um, that is not me. So here is a picture of the what the bass looked like originally, and here is what the bass looks like now. So obviously the major changes, it has a neck from, or an aluminium neck from Bagley. Uh, as you can see, lovely reverse headstock, little like what looks like a brass nut. Got some really cool tuners. Obviously they came separate. That's literally the only bit of, obviously other than bolting it onto the guitar. You have to like secure these on with a socket set, really easy. I did have to drill the holes through the body for the bolts to go through to make them a little bit wider. Again, easily done with just a hand drill. No, no worries, no fuss. It's not a problem. So yeah, on the back, you've just got the standard scratch plate. It, all the screws fit into the scratch plate, lovely. Uh, this is strung with D strings and yeah, the other main, obviously main difference in the bass is it's got a, a Vedison, I hope I'm pronouncing their name right. It's got a, a Vedison T-Bird pickup in the, like a Thunderbird pickup in the, in place of the bridge single coil. Um, and obviously it's got the high mass bridge upgrade that I do to, if you follow this channel again, you'll see that I do that to all of these t style bases. I believe it adds a little bit of sustain I mean, who will know? We'll never know because, like I say, I didn't do a playthrough before with this bass because I got too excited to fit the new pickup when it turned up. And then, because that was when I thought the neck was, like, literally probably about a month away. Um, it's been a while since then. Uh, like, probably talking, like, four months since I put the pickup in. It's just been sat there in my rack with no strings on it. So I now have a jazz neck which is obviously a blocked. That's why I went for the blocks on this one as well, because that neck had blocks in it and I really like block inlays. So I've got a jazz bass neck that I need to do something with at some point. So yeah, clean sounds. While we're here, let's do some pickup sounds as well. So this is obviously both pickups all the way on. And now just the neck pickup.
now just the bridge. So that's like the big, that's like the T-bird pickup. So... That's if I want the bass to sound a bit more thumpy, a bit more P bass, I guess. Gain sounds, that's why we're all here. So we'll go back to tone all the way up, uh, both pickups. And then we'll just do the my standard sort of main distortion sound, which is a bong gripper from Fuzzerosis in the loop of a Damnation Audio blooper. This is the Cave Bear by uh, Non-Human Audio. Big fuzz from uh, the guys over at Blue Collander Effects. That are some sounds. This is going to be all over recording. Um, I'm going to get, like you say, I've not finished the mods to this yet. There's, uh, believe it or not, even though it's really heavy already, <laughs> I, I want to fix the neck dive a little bit so I'm not holding it. I have a really good strap, but I don't want to be have the, the tiring way of like holding it up. So I'm going to put a little... Just do something clever and just probably do a little recess in the body and just, just drop enough weight in there so that it sits how it should and just deal with the fact that this is a this is a heavy beast. I have other light guitars that if, you know, I want to, you know, play something a bit lighter, um, like, you know, I've got my Dunable, I've got my Squire Affinity H's that have all been modded up, um, you know, put cards up now. 
or if you've checked out the channel, I've got a P base which I've been doing loads of updates to. This gets really close with that T bird pickup because it's not in the traditional T bird place and it's not in the P pickup position. Um, it's some, it's getting a, like re really interesting vibes from it, so I'm really liking that sound. Um, that was definitely worth doing. It's not something that um, I know uh, Ron from Bongripper. That's where I got the idea, basically, for this bass. Um, he did a very similar thing to his uh, Troy Sanders uh, Jaguar. Um, I didn't want to go cutting into my lovely Troy Sanders Jaguar, which I've only just got. Um, I was really tempted to put this neck on the Jaguar. But it's then I would have had a headstock with silver burst just sitting around and, you know, I also, I play that bass a shed load as well. So it's not that, you know, I don't want to be swapping necks all the time. Maybe I will put this neck on there just to see what it plays like. But obviously, like I say, it does mean drilling those holes through the body. So screws would probably hold it okay, but there might be a case of, you know, it's messing things up that don't need to be messed with. Um, it's a great guitar. Um, it's been on the channel before. Um, so yeah, the, and this, I kind of want this to be its own thing. Um, so there will be more, there, there will be more videos. Um, there will be more playing. I've probably done some pictures and stuff in better light tomorrow. I'll probably do some videos going over the, the fingerboard and stuff like that so you can see it a bit better than on this wonderful camera. You, you can either get it in matte or polished. Um, obviously, I went for the blinged out, you know, the blinged out polished because it looks absolutely badass. There are, obviously, there are frets, but they are put in after. I believe they're not part of the aluminium because, obviously, you want nice hard frets, not not the not the soft aluminium. Um, but yeah, it's it feels amazing once you've played it for a little bit, like I have now. It's like warm, and yeah, it just it feels really nice to play. It's really skinny. It's not a fat. It's definitely not a fat neck. Um, but yeah, I know. Obviously, there is. They're not cheap. Um, I had to sell a lot to be able to afford it because otherwise, I wouldn't have got it. Um, but yeah, if you can, you know, if you can find the way to uh, to get one, they are really, really cool. And uh, I'm super happy. Just have to uh, start, I don't need to go to the gym, really. I can just pick this up and barbell it. It's fine. Until next time. Cheers, guys. Later.